Welcome to another episode of Mojave River Valley News. This is our candidate series. And again, we're out here at the Hesperia Civic Park. What a beautiful night. We're gonna, we have some candidates tonight we're gonna be talking about from the city of Victorville, from an assembly seat, from a school board seat, to a, a water board seat, to a college seat. And it'd be fun to see exactly what everybody's thinking here tonight. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. I'm going to sit down with Terrence Stone. Terrence Stone is running for the Victor Valley College Trustees. He wants to be a board member out there. Get a chance to talk to Terrence and see what he thinks and where the college needs to go from there. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Hey, welcome back. I'm Eric Swanson. I'm here with Terrence Stone. Yes. Uh, Terrence, you're running for the Victor Valley College Board Trustees. I mean, yes. I mean, we call it Board Trustees. It's kind of one of those things a little bit of each of mine. Yeah, same so, thing. Take, yeah. take a few moments to tell the folks about yourself. Well, how you doing? My name is Terrence Stone. I'm running for Victor Valley Community College Board Area 3. Area 3. I've um, been in the community for quite some time doing community work for about two decades. I'm on several boards and committees throughout the county, so I'm used to working in, in groups and things like that as well. I'm on uh, Excelsior Charter School School Board as well. Been there for six years as well, too. So let's let's touch on a couple of things here because I, I want to talk about security mm -hmm. because that's one of the most important things. But I want to touch on something before this because all the, the schools are challenged, no matter yeah. the college or even the, even our district, and it's it's just what it is. On getting the ADA, the average daily attendance numbers, getting the kids back to school, the students back to school. Yeah. What do you think needs to happen at the college to finally get it back? Because you guys are growing so fast. I don't even know if you can yeah. keep up with it in the first place. Yeah. You know what? We're the uh, Victor Valley. I say we, but we're Victor Valley Community College is the fastest growing community college in the United States. Right. And so just as far as getting kids or students on, on campus, I think we need to do stuff exciting for them on campus. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, because we are, we are, they already know that they're going there to get their education. Um, they're going there to, you know, um, pursue their careers. But we also want them to be have a, a a life on campus as well, though, too. Mm -hmm. So we have to make student life more exciting to them as well to be able to get them back on campus as well. Let's talk about security because security is is one of those things that. You know, it's, um, I, I've always said that you, if you don't feel safe, you can't learn, you know? Yes. And um, how do you feel the college is doing with that? What needs to be done next? What else can be done? And are, are they on the right track? Well, I think with, with growth, security is always a main concern, right? And so having one, a, a large um, college like that, um, security is one of my, um, one of my um, things that I look forward to, to addressing as well, though, too. But I, I think that we just have to make sure that the kids feel safe and not just feel safe, make sure that they are safe without policing the college, though, as well, though, mm -hmm. too. And just creating a, a safe college environment as well, though, too. So uh, we already have um, college, um, um, the college police department over there, but uh, we don't we don't need a lot of college police department. We just have to create a safe school environment as well. Let's touch on something that this is something that has been driven in the in the, uh, the schools because I look at education as a 16 year piece, you know, 14 yeah. years with us and two years with you guys. Yeah. Right? If, if a further college board out there. Right. Yeah. CTE, the college career education is a big element. That's what the public wants. They want to make sure this is happening. And then if we could and I don't you know, we're so expanded across all of our network of all the schools up here. Tell us where tell me where you think CTE needs to go next. You know what? Um, the CTE program is doing fantastic over there. Uh, I know we have our, our trucking industry, um, our class over there, and it's at capacity. There's actually a waiting list. Um, they have the, the hair and nails classes, and I've seen a sewing class and, and all these different classes over there, which is, um, which is great. I, I think what they need, though, is more marketing for the um, for those programs so that everyone could know that these programs are available so if you're not looking into going into a, a four-year college right. but you need a trade um, um, Victor Valley Community College is a great place to do that so there's where do you think the college fits today and what we're doing with the high schools 
and the junior highs, and just, I know it's coming even in yeah. the elementaries. Yeah. Well, um, I know that we have um, staff. Um, I keep saying we, like I'm already there. Oh, you know you what? See it's that? our college. It's, it's our, our college. It's our college. It's our right. college. It's up here for but, sure. But Victor Valley Community College, they have staff already going to the high schools, right? And to some of the middle schools as well, though, too. Yeah, um, and, and that is great, basically, because now um, you, we're letting our young people know, like, hey, you have a place to land from here. Like, we're interested in your in your future and in your education, right? But come on, let's get it done. Like, you have to come to us to get it. And But, but we're not just going to say, hey, come to us. We're going to come to you first, introduce ourselves, so let you know that you have a home here when you're ready. Let's talk about something that's been on the news and it kind of comes and goes. Right now, it's not a big news topic yeah. is, is artificial intelligence, AI. Uh, yeah. Where does that fit with what we're doing at the college, not only with the students, with staff, but with faculty and so forth? Yeah. I think with, with AI, uh, we need to have a balance with AI. AI, it's artificial intelligence, but it can be total people intelligence as well. So if we can find that, that balance so that kids are not, or young people or students are not writing all of their work with AI, right? We should have a mechanism to kind of figure that out um, and, and just let them know that this is, you know, this is a supplemental information right here because we, we do not want to desensitize our thinking ability and our thinking outside of the box and our critical thinking skills as well, though, too. So we need to figure out how to balance that out, but we can't shy away from it because it is the future. Okay. So you're coming in Working with, you know, there's five board members total. Yes. There are five trustees. There's four other people plus the, the superintendent, president. Yes. How do you feel you would fit into this world? You know what? I'm, I'm on a lot of um, boards and committees throughout the county. Uh, I, I've been on boards and committees throughout the county for uh, well over 15 years or so. And so in doing that, I, I learned how to work in, in groups to get stuff done. Like whatever the mission is, let's try to move the dial on that mission. I'm on, I think, four or five county committees. I'm on Excelsior Charter School Board for Riverside and San Bernardino County. Um, I'm on the Gangs and Drugs Task Force for the um, countywide Gangs and Drugs Task Force for the County of San Bernardino, working directly with the Sheriff's Department and county school districts. Um, and, and so in, in doing that, I have experience, lived experience, and, and sitting on boards and getting stuff done with multiple personalities. So I think I'll do well. So take a few moments, Terrence, and, and tell the folks why they should vote for you. I think you should vote for Terrence Stone for Victor Valley Community College Board because I'm your pick. I'm the one that can get in that seat. Um, the board is doing good, actually, and I think we can do better. I think we need to keep that um, camaraderie with the board and, um, and just keep that college moving forward, and we can do it. And I'm your man to help you do that as well. Terrence, thank you for sharing with us thank today. You. Appreciate, I appreciate it. you. Thank you. We've had a chance to sit down with some great candidates tonight. Um, it's interesting to see how the uh, what the candidates feel that what they need to be and what they're worth to try their aspire and what they think the city council or the school board for the water board or whatever agency, even the, the trustees at the college, what everybody's thinking here. So, um, you know what? If you haven't had a chance, please subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a thumbs up because we want to provide more of these candidate forums, these, uh, these interviews to get them out to the public because how in the world do you find out who these folks are nowadays? It's very, very difficult. So, you know what? Stay tuned. We got more coming your way, more episodes of, no matter if it's candidates or all kinds of stuff for River, Mojave River Valley News. We'll see you next time.